Today in farming, we have to be as efficient as we can with all of our input. In order to do that, we have to have the latest technology. One of those is utilizing crop protection products. We could not do what we do today without things like glyphosate, which is a critical component of Roundup to control the weeds in our fields. The more weeds we have, the less crop we produce, the less food product we have for the needs of a growing world. One of the critical resources around the world, and especially in California today, is water. So we want to be as efficient and effective as the applied water we have in our fields today. We utilize micro-irrigation. That means we have to control the weeds that would steal the water away from our crops. Glyphosate helps us be able to do that. We live in central Kansas and we grow primarily wheat, grain sorghum, corn, soybeans, and popcorn. Glyphosate is an integral part of our farm management plan. It has really allowed us to transition into more of a no-till farming operation, which really helps us in maintaining and conserving soil moisture percentages, maintaining our carbon within the soil, maintaining the nutrients that help our crops grow. Not only that, it allows us to save on our fossil fuels because we're not using our equipment as much throughout the course of a growing season. Glyphosate is just one of the many ways that we manage our farm and it's an integral part of that farm management. It's a complex management plan but glyphosate definitely carries its weight within that plan. I've been in this field for over 40 years and what has evolved is really an understanding that the rights of way, electric gas, highways, can also be greenways that provide habitat for wildlife, for pollinators, as well as providing services to the public. So glyphosate is a vital type of herbicide that we can use to be selective, to be able to do it in multiple types of environment without causing any residual activity going forward. We call this integrated vegetation management or IVM, and it works. And we are able to make the changeover from problematic plants to compatible plants that are beneficial. You need areas along the guardrail to be sprayed to keep the weeds from blocking it that would corrode it. It needs to be able to protect you when you get off the road. These are things you take for granted, but without this chemistry, workers cannot provide these services in a very acceptable fashion. There's so many things that can benefit from doing this job right and we need to use an integrated approach to make that happen. Harborview Farms is a fourth generation uh, farm. We farm in the Chesapeake Bay region of Maryland, so we're an environmentally sensitive area. We grow corn, wheat, soybeans on a relatively large scale. We're not just farming in the spring and the fall to produce a crop. We're farming 365 days a year, looking at our surroundings, looking at the environment around our fields to see how we can enhance the biology, how we can enhance the wildlife, but also have our team grow and our families grow. We call that ecological farming. The most critical element of farming ecologically is that we don't till the ground. So in the absence of tillage, we lose one of the tools for weed control. One of the tools that we use on a regular basis is glyphosate because it is probably the best chemical that we have. It enables us to grow good crops, high yielding crops in a weed free environment that allows them to thrive. 